This is my PowerPoint presentation about airport inspections. An airport inspection is found in Title 14, a Code of Federal Regulation, Part 139. My name is Ime Ekasio, and I have this beautiful picture here of the uh, terminal of Dollars Airport in Virginia, the International Airport. In the United States, the requirement for airport certificate is found in that same uh, Title 14 of uh, Code of Federal Regulation, which deals with aeronautic and space, Part 139, and the U.S. Code of Title 49 Transportation, Section 44706. Uh, Mr. Ashford laid this out in the textbook. Airport in inspection. Airport inspection is the job of the airport operator. According to CFR Title 14, Part 139.237A, Self Inspection Program, the airport operator is authorized by the administrator to inspect the airport to ensure compliance with the subpart of in the manner approved by the administrator. You know, everybody, you, at the beginning, you give your manual, airport certificate manual, you, give, you write it up, you tell the administrator how you are going to perform your inspection, and he approves it before you start the airport operation. And when this has been approved, you must stick to the schedule. You must adhere to the schedule. Unless something happens, emergency, then you, you cannot adhere to it. So you adhere to the schedule approved according to the airport certification manual. Airport inspection. To keep the airport safe for flight, it has to be inspected daily. Daily inspection was suggested by International Civil Aviation Organization. And for runway, they even have four inspection PD. First light, you get to see what is there on the floor, on the ground. Detailed full width inspection of approximately 15 minutes per runway. That's more detailed inspection. Morning and afternoon inspection of all runways and a detailed shoulder inspection. Nightfall, complete runway surface inspection. Taxiway, daily inspection for those in use. The apron, daily inspection. Infield inspection to verify height of grass, cleanliness, and drainage according to maintenance schedule. More inspection. The surface condition of the paved area are inspected closely for damage, your runway, your taxiway, and more. Inspect for presence of standing water, snow, ice sand, oil, fuel spill, plus other foreign object debris, FOD, on the movement area. Inspect construction site and make sure the hazard warning are properly identified. All this is gotten from a textbook from Ms. Uh, Ashford and also the FAR tells us what to do. Boundary markers. Boards and signs are inspected and ensured to be in good condition. Inspect for damaged light fitting, broken glass, and be certain that nothing obscures the brightness of light. Inspect the wildlife and unauthorized persons or vehicles in the aircraft movement area. Airport inspection continues here. Ground navigational aids are inspected and must be in good condition. Fuel farms condition checked. Aircraft rescue and firefighting equipment condition verified. Perimeter fencing and gate areas inspected. Any inoperable or damaged equipment must be reported and scheduled for repairs. You see, it's like a chain link. 
Everything works together to provide safe travel. Yes. Part 139.305 paved area of Title 14 Code of Federal Regulation states each airport certificate holder must maintain and properly repair the pavement of each runway, taxiway, a loading ramp, and parking areas. FAR Part 139, the subsection of 301 records. All records must be available to administrator whenever needed, such as personnel training, self-inspection, accident and incident. So this self-inspection must be recorded. It's part of the FAA regulation for a certificate. In conclusion, we've talked a lot about all the inspection. This is a short um, PowerPoint with only uh, 12 slides talking about airport inspection. It could be elaborated some more, but that is just a summary of the things that we should be inspected and more, and who is responsible for is this inspection. In conclusion, Title 14 CFR Part 139.105 covers inspection authority. This implies that the FAA administrator is able to inspect the airport at any time, either with knowledge of the airport certificate holder or not, scheduled or unscheduled just to make sure that the airport is doing what they are supposed to do, their self-inspection. All those self-inspection or FAA administrator inspection has provided for safe travels. So they have to have every personnel that they need to carry out this work to continue to hold their certificate. Thank you so much for, I hope you've learned something today about airport inspection. When you travel, you don't know the amount of work that is involved. Um, next time, tell somebody thank you at the airport. So for this slide, I focus mostly on going through the electronic code of federal regulation. I went through it, you know, electronic, it gives you all the updates, any updates, and a test book uh, for National American University program by Ashford. Thank you and have a good day. God bless.